we go. That kind of works as a background if we don't think too hard about it. It's that time of year again, and if you have watched anything else on this channel, you already know what's coming. It is time, once again, for the Summer Reading Program, where I, at the behest of the company where I work, read a whole bunch of business and leadership books that are on their shelf of picks in exchange for cash money on a page-by-page -page basis. In order to claim this money, I need to write short reviews and post them in our company forum. But I often find that I don't want to speak freely in those reviews because it's kind of unprofessional to cuss a lot, and because I tend to react to business, leadership, and any kind of self-help book with crippling rage and insecurity. This year we're kicking off the season with something a little different from usual, and that is because I do this to myself. I do it to myself. So this is On Being Stuck, Tapping into the Creative Power of Writer's Block by Lorraine Herring, author of Writing Begins with the Breath. When I buy uh, motivational books, self-help books for myself, this is always what I'm going to buy. It's going to be art books and especially writer's block books, because I have been caught in a writer's block of some form for, or another for 10 years now. I go back to the drawing board and stare at the blank page and come up with nothing, and shockingly enough, I haven't found anything that helps. I mean, there's a, a certain point of being art block in which there is nothing you can do because everything is going to boil itself down to whether or not you can take that first step. And I can't take that first step. But at, at that point, what the hell else am I do? Why not read a thousand books and look for any kind of advice or inspiration or what the hell ever? And I've read quite a few. Um, I read Stephen King's On Writing recently. I hated it so much. But this one, which I picked up on a whim while in a bookstore, just paid my own money for this. This I'm not getting paid for this. I'm getting the opposite of paid for this because I paid for this. It's a... I don't think this is gonna help either, but I don't hate it. In fact, I think it's quite good. The author, Lorraine Herring, does writer workshops. According to the preface and introduction, these are yoga and creative writing workshops. That and the fact that she is the author of Writing Begins with the Breath should have let me know that there were going to be a whole lot of um, breathing and meditation exercises in this book, and there are a lot. There are a lot of breathing and meditation exercises, and those never work for me. But I still like it. I like that this is a person who acknowledges up front not only that not everything is going to work for you, but that you've got to find your own connection to the thing you're working on. A great deal of what she does in this is she encourages you to think of your writing as a separate entity, like a creature or an animal or a representation, and she somehow, despite this being very kind of spiritualism new age, manages to do that without making me feel alienated, because it's a mental exercise. And while at first my, my response to this is something along the lines of, that's silly, thinking of my writing as a separate creature, I, I literally do that as a means of coping with various other things. I have done multiple paintings and illustrations of the personification of my anxiety disorder as a way of grappling with it, and in fact it is one of my favorite things to do. I am fascinated by monsters for this very reason, for the way that they become external presentations of things that we want to grapple with and handle even if we cannot defeat. It's, it's completely up my alley. Uh, breaking from form, I actually did one of the exercises in this book. Only one, but I actually did it. I'm excited. Uh, I haven't done any of the breathing exercises because breathing never relaxes me. I have asthma. It puts me in a high-risk group for pollens and sicknesses. It's, I can't do deep breathing without starting to think about that. It freaks me the fuck out. But at the same time, I don't feel, like, judged for that either. My biggest um, problem with this book is that while she gives you advice and tactics on, how, tactics on how to grapple things in various parts of your writing process, she doesn't have one for if you're stuck at the starting block, which is where I am. Great, most things don't. Uh, her thesis is that 
when you're blocked in your writing, it's for a reason. Like, maybe you're trying to write a scene that deals with something that you have not processed emotionally, that's, that's high stakes for you, and it's worth exploring whether or not that's the case and reaching a conclusion because, well, that's why you're writing about it, is because it's high stakes for you. Things like that, and I love that idea. I like the idea that when you're blocked, it's, it's for a reason, and it's an emotional reason that is worth exploring and trying to resolve. As long as I'm trying to improve myself through the reading of books, as long as it is this time of the year, I, I was halfway through this book when the official email announcement of Summer Reading Program came out. I, uh... I figured I would share my pain with you, even if it is a different kind of pain than the normal kind of pain. And hopefully at some point, between all of the readings of these books, I will actually get outside, actually enjoy some sunlight, actually enjoy some beautiful ocean vistas, or lakeside swimming, or what the fuck ever. You know, the summer things. I'm told there are some. Uh, maybe ride this bicycle that's been sitting here for over a year with, with no love. It's a good bicycle. And hopefully I will succeed again at summer reading program, reach the full $200 cap. I am quite interested in perhaps saving up for a Nintendo Switch and playing some Breath of the Wild. Or maybe I'll just say fuck it and buy dresses again. I did also buy a bunch of Dungeons and Dragons source materials, so if that goes well, maybe I'll just be buying more Dungeons and Dragons source materials. It's gonna be a long summer. I will see you soon.